Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Like you don't choose getting the fix over giving your daughter a mother and shit. You don't know how much I love her. I try to get better and I do as much as I can. I know you love her, but once you give her to the world, it might just put a gun in her head. I don't give up on her, please. Don't hurt my daughter. I love her. Just give her a chance. <laughs> you can't ask the world for a chance. What the f is wrong with you? Hi, you guys. What's up, Welcome everybody. back to our channel. You already channel. know what it is. We back at this yet we're again. We're back after 18 weeks. <laughs> but Basically. after such a long time, we're back, you guys. We so, we are just so sorry. But y'all know how life is. It gets in the way, okay, of everything. Facts. And we have had a lot of life changes happen. But it's okay because we're back now. We love y'all. We care so much about y'all. We don't want y'all to think we don't care because we do. We've been like beating ourselves up to get back into the routine of doing these. How do you feel? Would you like to add something? No, I mean, basically, it's just been crazy. <laughs> but so, we back now. <laughs> that's all that matters. Yeah, hey, we back in oh, there, man. you know. So what are we, today all we right. are. Yo, today we're doing a song by Yellow Pain. I've never heard of this person. He's dope. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I, I listen to like Trap Terrell and Trap Terrell, like, and this artist do a lot of stuff together. How'd you? So that's how you found out about this song? No, about this song. Um, actually, Joe sent me, somebody sent me something, like a little Instagram snippet. And I was like, yo, like, we have to do this. He's an artist that I've been wanting to do reactions on. It's just I haven't got around to it. But I seen a little snippet and I was like, Let's do it. And just for the record, I said we should come back with NF because we was we, already we on a series NF. that we never finished, but... We still about to hit NF. Oh. Oh, kid interruption number one. <laughs> Babe, are you going to take a picture of me? All right. Back to what we was doing. Uh, All right. So, yeah. So, basically, I just heard of it from Trap Terrell, which is another artist who does a lot of, like, storytelling type stuff. Um... But yeah. Let's so we're going to get into this one and then we're going to do, do an NF, NF one. So yeah, we got so, y'all back. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's make sure you know I got this. It's up. Are you ready? Mm hmm. I just want to take the time to thank everybody in attendance today. Thank you for identifying yourselves and your name badges. Some of you have not. The next time that we meet, hopefully everybody can come on board and identify themselves and their addiction. Oh, that's cool. How they have the name tags. Okay. All the world was his name tag. That's cool. However, I'm here to let you know firsthand that after 15 years of recovery, it is possible. Thank you, Amanda. I know you waited for this one. Away again. I can't keep running from the world. And I know they did the last time. But this time really is the last time. Okay, before he even starts, I just want to say that chorus was so beautiful. I don't know if that's her real vo voice, but I love the deep register. I didn't, obviously. Um, I'm going to school for vocal major, so I love listening to the voice. So before whatever he said, I already love the song. I love the name tags, and I love her voice. Mmm. It's my favorite song. I know you probably don't know me. Yeah, I'm really not trying to. But I always have my eye on you. Just want to let you know I'm proud of you. Most people call me the world, but I like to go by reality. And the reason mm. you do all that shit to your body because you're supposedly mad at me. I love it how you only think about you and the shit that go into your body. <laughs> I love how you better at feeding addiction and giving your children a mommy. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> Welcome to the world. This what you wanted, I'm guessing. You do what you want to do, get what I give you, but you don't get none of your blessings. 400 years of oppression. I made the Africans suffer one after another. I made a storm in New Orleans. I gave him Katrina. All you heard was cracking and thunder. I done so cracked to your mother. Remember back when I let Hill around up all the jewels? If I don't let all of that happen back then, do you really think I give a f about you? Okay, I get you. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, this is too much. This is too much. Um, before our kids interrupted this, when I heard it, I didn't connect the dots right away. So, 
Oh, he's snappy. Oh, yeah, he's snapping. He, he said, doesn't you, no you, you doing it because you're supposed to be mad at me, but I don't even care about you. Oh, that's okay. Real quick, y'all. I know y'all don't like sometimes when we be snapping. Well, a lot of people do. It don't matter. Okay, so um, we just heard um, a couple weeks ago how forgiveness, we did a, a lesson about that and how um, you're, you're mad at somebody else hoping that you're going to get to that it gets to them or whatever but really is poisoning you the whole time so that little bar was so sick because it's true like i'm mad at the world i hate the world i can't take this i'm about to just drink i'm about to just pop pills but really it's like um you heard it yourself and i mean the world gonna keep on going yeah going. it revolves without like, you like that's yeah. crazy he's not his little short self with his yellow hair baby <laughs> He's snapping. Okay. Yeah, he, he came to play no games at all. I've never That's heard of so this dope. guy. Yeah, he's so dope. But, yeah, I agree completely about the whole forgiveness stuff. And, I mean, I, I really be like that. Like, I I don't know. I can't take this world. I can't stay in this world. It pisses me off all the time. But, like, I guess I don't really, you know, go down this path. But Thank you, Jesus. I just go down more of, like, the depression, you know, like, stages. Because, like, to me, I'm just like, there's, you know, this is crazy. Like, this world is ridiculous. And you don't want to be a part of it. I don't want to be a part of it. Yeah. I used to always tell her, I'm not I'm not a part of this world. Like, and she was like, what? She was all confused. But, like, that's really no, not No, okay, it. that's not. Well, if you would have said it like that, yes. But you well, used to I, say. I, I don't you... want to be of this world or something. I don't know. I used to say something. <laughs> I don't know. But <laughs> I, I used, used to, to yeah, I used to just say something like that. But, like, it was just, yeah. No, so, I mean, I, yeah. This is dope. He used to be like, why am I here? I'm like, yeah, wait, are yeah. you going to kill yourself? Like, this is no, really weird. Because but... a lot of people that deal with depression also deal with suicidal thoughts, but not all the time. So. Yeah. I love it how you blame the world for all of your problems. I thank you for putting your personal struggle ahead of your daughters. So I brought her with me. Right in front of Ooh. you, I want you to witness. All she wanted was your love and attention. All you gave her was your f***ing addiction. Now you about to see me unload the weapon. First, I got to cock it back. Oh, my no, gosh. I want you to try to come save her because you're not capable of that. Look at oh, how you react. Gosh. Like you love her. Like you don't choose getting the fix over giving your daughter a mother and shit. You don't know how much I love her. I try to get better, and I do as much as I can. I know you love her, but once you give her to the world, it might just put a gun to her head. I will give up on her, please. Don't hurt my daughter. I love her. Just give her a chance. <laughs> the world for a chance what the f is wrong with you you gotta make a decision either you choose to be present or choose your addiction i didn't choose it it chose me you say that you love her to show me see every parent with addiction is a child getting whatever the world give them you want to protect her you gotta do better Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, uh, mm. Um <laughs> Yeah, that was that was crazy. I, I like how he puts it in a different perspective. Like, yeah, that was too much. <laughs> that was <laughs> that was like I I I don't know if I can um um contain that. I don't. Oh my gosh, that was like, oh my gosh. Um, 
That was, oh my gosh, like I cannot. Babe, why would you make me do this video? Like y'all saw me on NF, uh, the other one. I be crying. I don't got time. This is just like, this, mm-mm, 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 no. I don't, I don't, I don't, mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, like, um... You want to talk while I gather my thoughts? All right, I don't even. Yeah, sure. Um, I, I, you know, my first thoughts was like, you know, okay, it is now. I want to focus on you, whatever. It's okay. My my first thoughts though, like this is just crazy, you know. But um, I like to think of it more as like a absent parent, you know. And I mean, a lot of p parents are absent because of drug addictions, but also like you know, even like fathers and stuff. Like a lot of them just aren't there, you know. And if you're not there, the world is definitely gonna raise your child. Like you can't, yeah. you can't stop that. Like if you don't install like morals, you know, and stuff like that into them, like somebody else will. And it's usually stuff that they see online or the news or you know here at school. Like it's you know, and it, and it's very poisonous, you know, especially if they grow up and don't have like strong morals. Like, the world will eat you alive, you know? And, like, us as parents, like, we have to prepare our children for that. And I I don't even know. I don't even have my thoughts gathered, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, okay. This isn't funny, but, like, we just, like, this is just how It's just this too how much. It's, yeah. Yeah, and honestly, because only one time, we get a way more positive feedback than negative. But only one time somebody said, I can't believe... Y'all are laughing at, um, it was in the one where we did uh, NF. I went from nobody to kind of famous. Yeah. Um, they were like, I can't believe you guys are laughing at a mental, at a mental disorder. Illness. But it's like, like no, laughing, we just. Like, this is just how. You don't even know how close sometimes this hits yeah. to home. And it's just like to to get the words is like ridiculous. Yeah, like... I do love how, like, I don't know who made this video, but y'all know I'm very visual. And I love the creativity of this. A lot of times, and don't get me wrong, we like the videos too where stuff is popping out of stuff and it's a million dollars. Okay, cool. Like, that's cool. But I love the the very authentic um, videos where he just dressed in black. Like, when you have really good music, you don't have to drum through a bunch of loops to, to get a, a, um, a visual of what you're trying to say. And his visuals on top of his word, I mean, on what he's saying, just speaks so many volumes. Like how the world brought his their her daughter to her, is a, a beautiful um, visual, too. Because like a lot of the times when you're in the drugs and you're you're uh, it, facing your addictions, the you are not thinking correctly, obviously. So you're not worried about your kids, but the world. Um, just like Lance was saying, the world gets on his nerves and is just shoving stuff in his face, reality. Like, so it's like reality is bringing her child to her. Like, you don't care about her. That is just too much for me. Yeah. This is like... I try to do that all the time. Like, be Mr. Reality Check. And it's, it's hard. To yourself or what? Yeah, to myself, to people around me. Reality like, like hits you I, in the face. I love it. Like they just was like boom, hit you in the face. Like, yeah. I mean, I, there, <laughs> <laughs> there ain't nothing else to say about that. Oh, Reality will definitely hit you straight in the face, and then you're like, wait, what? Like, in the talk, the I love in this video the the talk the the dialogue between. Um, the verses like he could have easily just had her like woo 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 and then he come in for his little bars then her back on the course and that was woo. that was so dope like you know he put the gun to her head and she's like no 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 and he's like wait you can't do nothing like you yeah. handed her to me yourself yeah like whoa what like this this yeah he was not playing with nobody like like oh the oh and then how they hold in her hands like the world has her now. Like, yeah, like, so it's, oh my gosh. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't even, 
you know, if you if you struggle with this, like this this is you know, there's always a way out, you know, and don't don't take the easy route, you know, like get clean. I know? love how she went back. You can do this. Like I love how she went back in the in the end and it showed And then the hug too. Like, yo, I don't know if y'all understand, like, you know, but hugs sometimes, like, they, they be the, mean the yeah, world. They do. I hug everybody, y'all, and that's honestly, I've learned to lay off on the hugs. Because yeah, my she, mom used to tell me, um, not everybody is comfortable with that. And I was like, really? Like, I was thinking, like, that's so weird. Who wouldn't want to hug? But yeah, it's true. Not everybody's super touchy feely. Like, I've definitely run up on some people, like, you know, and they, like, you know, so it's just like, I'm like, oh, you don't do that? You know, like, oh, okay. But, so yeah, I hug too much. But this this is, I also love how it shows the happy ending um, when you do change your life. Because um, you regain the victory that Christ has called you to have in the first place. So y'all know we always go back to the, the spiritual aspect of things. You... We have the victory when we're born, obviously. Then the world, which is what they're playing in reality um, of the world, what the world is, hits us in the face. Then we have the choice. Do we join what he's saying? Listen to the world, which the world is controlled by the enemy anyway. We just happen to live here. Hence him saying we're not of this world. Do I go with the world and just do whatever it takes and just, you know, dwell in the world or do I make a change and so for and claim the victory that was already mine to begin with before the world was presented to me so the fact that he just like oh my gosh this guy who is he <laughs> what's his, his name? name is yellow pain yellow pain oh, I just oh. take the time. sorry yellow pain and, and like I, I mean I mean it's gone now but like the thumbnail is like of those two people the you know the world holding the little girl's hands and the dude having a gun to the girl's head and she's just like looking at her mom like you know in like, a state you of like me? you know yeah. she's distraught like you know oh it, it's just it's crazy yo like oh my god we we gotta get it like, yeah we gotta step our game up don't let the world have your kids yeah like you know put that put strong morals into them you know when they're young like you know we we definitely try we come from um different backgrounds but very very similar pains that our parents have gone through or stuff that has affected them and um which through them affected us in one way or another and we definitely try with our kids not to overcompensate because a lot of a lot of especially millennials struggle with that like okay um, for instance, mine was like, my mom would tell me, I'm not your friend. I'm not your friend. So, which I understand now being an adult, but I, when I had my daughter, she's eight years old now, I was like, I'm never going to tell her I'm not her friend because I want her to know that I love her and I care about her and I am there for her because that's what a friend is. And long story short, um, that was overcompensated because now I'm like, okay, we are going to be like this, but no, there, I just need to to find a happy medium in between what your parents um, have done to you or what you've been through to do to your kids is what we try to do now. So I, we don't try to over, but we definitely try to spend a lot of time with them and let them know like we're here because we don't want the world to have them. And with technology and stuff, it's hard, shoot. Mm -hmm. It's hard because everybody I says- I see like 10 year olds with Facebooks. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? Who you see with a Facebook? <laughs> Okay, I, yeah. I, I'm gonna like, edit that out. They be on there doing like posting, you know, like six nine. Like, bro, nobody, you know, you you a kid, like you don't need to listen to six nine. You know, mm. like it is. It's, just, it's hard it's, though, y'all. It's hard because we used to be like, we are not giving our kids electronics. Mm. Um, yeah, right. And then they be yeah. in your face. You like, all right, look, go get your phone, because yeah. uh, you know. So it's it, it's definitely well, I, easy I, to you know, put restrictions. Yeah, I'm not saying we just be like, yeah. here's your phone, bye. Yeah. But we but we definitely, there's no way right now for us to be like, y'all are never having y'all phones. Because then we would 
I mean, it's just we would never have a second to ourselves. We don't have the luxury of um, babysitters and all that good stuff. But but back to the moral of it. Yellow Pain is a lyrical and visual like genius with this song. I've never heard his other stuff, so I ain't going to speak for that. But this was beautiful. That that girl's voice was absolutely beautiful. She played the part very well. She didn't do too much. She didn't do too little. This was like... Yeah, it was dope, you know. For ten real. out of ten for us. Yeah. I'm just I'm just happy I haven't cried. I'm not trying. See, I, I'm trying to keep the tears back. Okay, so I <laughs> I'm just not even gonna go yeah. into my life. I'm gonna just but, I'm, I'm gonna just focus on the beautiful know, things. I for real, you know, there is you know uh, so many programs to help you get mm-hmm. through you know addictions. You know, like we go to celebrate recovery. Um, for hurts, habits, and hangups, but it's like Christ centered. Mm-hmm. Um, they're actually starting to get a lot more of them as well around, you know. And yeah, just you know, be in your kids' lives, you know, like guide them, you know, give them morals, you know, don't let the world have them, you know, yes, don't hand please. and especially just don't freely hand them over to the world. Yes, it's hard, you know? but it's worth it. Yeah, you like, can do it. You could do it. We've been having kids on our own since we were in our early, early, early 20s. So yeah. while I was 18. So actually when we was 19. Yeah. 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 And our, our whole yeah. life. <laughs> <laughs> At such a young age. Yeah. yeah. Like, but, you know, it's all good, you know, like, but we, it's our duty, you know, to raise them. Yes. You know? Yeah. Even like if, you know, the kid wasn't expected or planned, you know, mm-hmm. it's still... You, you know, like you took that action to, you know, you took, you did intercourse period. So like that is a result of it. Like, and it's our responsibilities, you know, we can't just shove them onto our parents or, you know, somebody else. Like it's our responsibility. We got to stand up, you know. Yes. And it's uh, the mother and the father make a difference. So whatever you're going through, if you're watching this and you're going through something with your spouse, Pray over your spouse. I just got to watch the uh, the war room with um, some good girlfriends of mine, and me and Lance are going to watch it together, too. In that movie, um, she was struggling with that, too. And, and praying over your husband, praying over your wife, and just staying there, being faithful. What you're called to do when you say, I do, is through thick and thin, I'm going to support you. So yeah. it's not about... Love is not a feeling. Um, it's not. It's, it's, it's a, an action. It's an action. Like, I love you. I Emotions want the change. best for you. Yeah, psh, especially girls. Y'all know us. Come on. Yeah, like, emotions always change. Love is an action. It's just a, you know, you got to, you know, and keep that love there. Like, but for real, y'all, and men. You can make it through. Man, we got to get it together, man. Like, I ain't even going to lie. No, we don't need you. <laughs> Nah, oh, men to men, it's men conversation here. You just, you know, come on now. We gotta, we gotta stand up. You know, we gotta be fathers to the kids. Yeah. You know, it's your fault they pregnant in the first place. Like, let's be Tell real. Them, babe. Like, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, oh you know, you gotta take responsibility. You know, and even if you didn't have the best parents, you know, you gotta stand up and do the best that you can. Yeah, that is not a scapegoat. Yeah, you no, didn't have screw a good. That. Like, we, oh my we gosh, ain't about that no more. This twenty nineteen, like, let's, you know. We making changes. Together so stand we stand. Up. Yeah. You know, you want you want some advice or whatever, reach out, you know. Yeah. We going to start writing to yeah. y'all too. Thank you to everybody that um checked on us while we were out. We we got um um DMs and stuff from people and that really like we didn't get to get to people because like like I said our life right now, but we're going to get back to you. So thank you for writing on us, writing to us and checking on us and we we are gonna make a promise, and we don't we don't not fulfill our promises to Facts. stay in touch with you guys because it's important to have community. We're all and to not feel alone in what you're struggling with. And let me just say this before I hand it to to him: Ad- addiction. A lot of people think of as meth, alcohol. You know, blah 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 blah. But it's not drugs. Food is an addiction too. TV, um, your yeah, cell yeah. phone. We all struggle with yeah. addiction, just in different categories. But it's a problem for us all, and we need to be there for one another. We love y'all so much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you don't want oh. No, I mean that's it. You know, let's fight these addictions together. You know. Yes, in Jesus' name. You need support. Break these What's chains. Up? Like, yeah. 
But we love y'all. We do love y'all. And we back at this. We back. We back. Woo! Yeah. 